It's Tuesday, the last week of March in 2016, and you are scavenging with Scavenge Lord. Now, this week I did not have to work on Garbage Day, so I was able to spend the entire morning scavenging, and the weather cooperated with me. It was a beautiful day outside yesterday. It's a little gloomy right now, so I might have to do some color correction in this video, but it, I had an absolutely wonderful time. I love scavenging. My favorite thing. And now I'm showing off a few other things that I found. Three hubcaps, all in very good shape. So that's uh, great for a three-wheeled car. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a plastic box, and that's just a decorative box inside and a seat cover, but uh, that look, plastic crate was uh, great for carrying stuff home. And look at all these foods I found. They're all buy out of the best buy date, but uh, none of them are actually expired. And these are all unopened packages of food. Those cans of sardines are absolutely perfectly good still, even though they're uh, a year out of the best buy date. None of this stuff is open. They're all very good foods. Now this box of cereal, it looks like it's in terrible shape, but actually that is only the uh, outer cardboard box. The inner bag is still in great shape, and I love oat cereals, so I'm going to try those. I'm going to eat them up. Then we also, I also came across a lot of office supplies in the last subdivision that I visit on my route, including this uh, beautiful leather-covered clipboard. A lot of, where are they? There they are. A lot of pens and pencils. I already sorted out those which do not work. Uh, bungee cord, toothbrush holder, can of a uh, bottle of aspirin. A box of envelopes. I've already used a couple of those envelopes. A perfectly good basketball. And I mean perfectly good. A pair of training wheels that match and look like they're in fairly good shape. Two different bouquets of artificial flowers which came out, actually out of two different subdivisions, I believe. Did not come from the same house. Things just work out that way sometimes. And this rod and reel. Now, yeah, there is a something else there that is a clamp because the reel was broken off of the rod and I'm using some liquid nails to reattach them. Otherwise, this rod and reel are in excellent condition. Now let's look at the clothes. A pair of women's shoes that are in good enough condition for thrift stores. A couple of winter stocking caps. A couple of other hats which are in such good condition that they both actually still have the sales tags on them. Those will do very well in a thrift store, I think. This towel is actually did not come out of a garbage can. I found this in the road. But, and yeah, it's scuzzy right now because it needs to be washed, but it's going to be a fairly good towel. Good enough. And that pair of wraparound sunglasses, they're perfectly good. They're not even scratched up or anything. No breaks, no missing screws. Somebody who just, they were part of a box of clothing that somebody was just throwing away and I discovered this clothing as the garbage can truck was breathing down my neck, so I grabbed the entire box to brought it home to sort it out there. And here are all of the clothes from that box that I that are just going into the trash. I'm not keeping everything. So we got T-shirts here, a uh, what do we call that? A lavender color dress. A uh, woman's long sleeve t-shirt and several, let's see, four and five 
the nine extra extra large t-shirts washcloth two pairs of men's shorts and a couple pairs of polo style men's extra large shirts so this was a very productive week there was no one item that really stood out above all of the others so we're just going to call this a uh, smorgasbord of, miscell of miscellaneous bits and things that were found like zip ties, bungee cords, newspaper, USB cable, Lay's barbecue potato chips in the party size bag. Lots and lots of good stuff. I had an outstanding time salvaging this week. And thank you for watching. I almost forgot this piece. This is the remarkable piece of the day. I found this at the t on the top of a garbage can. It was just about, I must, must have been taken out uh, just before the rain st started because uh, there was a little bit of drizzling as I was beginning this morning. So I must have saved this just in time. This is um, oil painting on canvas. It's, um, yeah, it's um, not a lot of fine detail here, but the colors are beautiful. And I off, I'm going to pass this along to the Goodwill because it's just such a nice eye-catching piece. Um, you, you really shouldn't throw away pieces of original artwork like this. Whether you like them or not. I, I can't use it. The colors are completely wrong for my place. But somebody will see this and the colors will be exactly right for their bedroom. Or somebody will see this and we're going to say, Hey, I can add a sea monster to that. So the destiny of this particular painting is not yet told.